What's good, y'all? What's the numbers TV? It's your boy, Poe Row. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And like a video if you appreciate the content that Poe Row and What's the Numbers I provided. Today we back with another profile piece. This was on Tyshawn Knight, aka Street Fam Tyke. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to take a look at his relationship with the rapper Fabulous. And also take a look at some situations that he caught later on in life. As far as like murder charges and things like that. We're going to try to get to the bottom of his case to see what the outcome was. And see where everything concerning him stands today. So to make this story on Tyke, I basically got to, you know, let you guys know who he was. Give you some background information on him. He's one of the younger members at the time of Street Family, which is the rapper's Fabulous crew. Out of Brevoy Projects in Brooklyn. Before they were Street Family, it was BGS. You know, basically a crew coming up, getting into a lot of different things, but eventually they get into the hip hop world through Patlam selling all this fabulous, you know, in the early 2000s, all the way up until now. So, in the beginning, you know, he was out running around with fabulous, different shows, different videos, and the Traded All videos, one of the main videos I remember him being in, a lot of different DVDs, like Smack DVDs and all that. You know, he was a younger, one of the younger members of the crew, so, you know, basically, you know, he got a lot of the perks, you know, it was known, it was said to be that he, um, Fabulous, used to let him hold the Bentley back in the day, the GT Coupe, ride it through Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, let him hold the chains and all that. You know, he was the young boy out the crew, so it's nothing to, you know, a lot of times the younger crew, and the, the younger the younger guy in the crew, he gets a lot of the perks because, you know, it's, it's less of an ego thing for him, so he don't mind asking the older members for something, you know, let me hold this, let me get this, you know, guys are the same age, usually they got that ego, they got a little, they don't really want to feel like they're, you know, asking somebody that they look at that as equal to them as far as age for stuff. So, you know, they don't really get a lot of the perks, but the younger members of the crew usually get a lot of the perks. And that still goes on to today. You know, everybody loves the young boy. That's my young boy. I'm looking out for him. Oh, that's my old head. You know how it go. So, Taiki was that. He was the young one of the young boys of Street Fam. You know, before Kev and all of them had spots with Fab, Taiki was the one that was around him. Now, eventually, something happened throughout the years. It was rumored that they had some sort some, some of... um some type of riff or some type of split between where you don't see Tyke with Fabulous no more. Now, he's still a part of Street Fam, you know, because he still got friends that all grew up together. They all basically before, like I said, before Fabulous was a rapper, they was all friends from the project. So he still had relations with other members of the Street Fam, but not particularly with Fabulous so much. Now, Fabulous on Loso's way, he drops a song named Pachanga. So Pachanga was supposedly had a verse that was a few bars that was supposedly aimed at Tyke. Now, we don't know this for sure. Fabian never came out and said this, but that was the word that certain bars were for him. So, after that, you know, you don't really see Tyke with Fabulous too much after that, but you still see him with the crew. So, eventually, later on, fast forward to 2015, and it pops up that Tyke is charged with a murder. Now, the details surrounding the murder that Tyke is charged with is that on May 27, 2015, him and an accomplice entered a courtyard in Fulton Street in Brooklyn at some public housing development over there and shot into a crowd of people, hitting a 31-year-old man by the name of Jamal Anderson, who ends up dying from his injuries. Eventually, him and his accomplice both get tried and convicted. He gets convicted for manslaughter and gun possession, sentenced to 18 years. His accomplice gets convicted of the murder and sentenced to 23 years. Now... That was what that was the latest we got on Tyke, you know what I'm saying? So eventually I looked up his, his um online as far as like where's he locked up at and he is in custody. He's currently in Great Meadow at the time, serving his 18 years. And um that's where it stands right now. You know, it was a big shock to some as far as like him getting convicted of the whole murder thing. Some people it was a shock to some because a lot of people didn't know what happened to him after him not being around Fab, you know, the casual fan, don't really know what's going on in Brooklyn and all that. They just know him from being with Fab. They didn't see him no more. So it was a shock to some people to find out that way. Now, also the person who ended up getting killed, I got a story coming out on that whole situation. Not in the situation with him and Tyke, but he's a part of another story I'm doing, a bigger story. I'm just waiting for the right time to drop that story. But this is What's the Numbers TV. This is a quick video on Street Fam Tyke. A lot of people didn't know what he was up to these days. Some did. And um, this is the situation concerning him right now. So if you mess with the channel, like I said, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff. We're about to hit 20K subscribers. If you've been rocking with me for a minute, I appreciate y'all. If y'all just got on board, stick around. We're going to keep going up from here. It's Paul Rose, What's the Numbers TV. And I'll be back before you know it. I'm out of here. Peace.